Hi, well, the wonderful county of Carmarthenshire certainly has some very famous towns and villages, of course, and has long been a magnet for writers and artists and poets, and none more famous or influential, of course, than Dylan Thomas. So today I've come to the unique little town of Larn, or Talachar in Welsh, which Thomas himself described as a timeless, mild, beguiling island of a town. In 2014 will be the centenary of Thomas's birth and as a fitting tribute a special walk has been created, the Dylan Thomas Birthday Walk and follows some of the scenes that inspired his work and before long we'll meet the gentleman responsible for that walk. So as Thomas wrote in Under Milkwood of course, to begin at the beginning, off we go. And the first section of this particular walk skirts around the imposing castle looked after by Cadu and which Thomas described as being brown as owls. The heron priesthood show of the Tower Vestry is a perfect introduction to the placid, timeless charm of Larn. Pretty soon you'll come to some steps which lead up to the famous clifftop writing shed which has been preserved and kept as it was when Thomas worked here. And then it's down to the most iconic building in Larn where Thomas wrote some of his most famous work including Under Milk Wood. The Boathouse was Dylan Thomas's home, of course, from 1949 to 1953. It's a very famous place, not only in Larne and Carmarthenshire, but across the world. President Clinton and Carter actually visited this house. And you can appreciate why Dylan Thomas loved this place so much. The walk then becomes part of the Wales coastal path through lovely woods, open fields alongside the Tarb estuary. You'll see some Iron Age remains, Victorian boathouses and traces of ferry crossings and causeways and eventually you'll turn onto the road which leads back to the town itself. But first, Dylan Thomas fans or not, you'll need to visit the 13th century dated St Martin's Church where people come from all over the world to pay tribute to one of Wales' greatest poets. It's a pretty special place. And of course, Dylan Thomas's body was brought back here to be buried after his death in New York. And as you see, a simple white cross to mark his grave. And Caitlin, the love of his life, of course, was buried here in 1994. So leave the church on the cobbled path and walk back through the town, down towards the square and the salt marshes. But the castle, whose entrance is just off the main road, is well worth a visit. As I walk back through the town and I pass yet another reminder of Lan's most famous son, the second half of the walk meanders towards St John's Hill. Now, leaving the castle and the town behind me, this is where the specially created Dylan Thomas birthday walk goes through the famous Milkwood. I'm about to meet up with the man responsible. Well, I created it two years ago. It's based on Poem in October, one of Dylan's first place poems about his love of Larn, right. where he wakes up in the morning on his 30th birthday and walks from the boathouse down there up to the shoulder of Sir John's Hill, where we're standing now. And I've composed it in three or four panels, dividing the poem up with seats where you can sit down okay. and admire the views. And 2014, of course, is a, is a big year for Larne itself, yeah? Yes, it's a massive year. We're celebrating Dylan's birth. It's 100 years. And there's no better way, may I say, to come to Larne and do the birthday walk to celebrate Wales' greatest poet. And if you walk this route on your birthday, you'll be entitled to a free pint, a bag of chips, and free entry to the boathouse. So keep on walking up to the highest point, enjoy the spectacular views, and before you know it, you'll be back at the gravel path again, which takes you back to the castle, the square, and one of Carmarthenshire's most cherished places. And even if you're not familiar with Dylan Thomas and his work, I'm sure you love this town, and the birthday walk really has been carefully and thoughtfully planned for all to enjoy, not just Dylan Thomas fans. Now go to the website, download the colour map of course, information about the town, the birthday walk itself and the 2014 celebrations. Lan really is a magical little place 
and the walking is brilliant. But there's one little place I need to visit without which a trip to Lan wouldn't be quite the same. Brown's Hotel.